We've also been taught as a society medical language. So now, you know, teenagers, adults, people are all very fluent in saying, it's my OCD, mm. it's my clinical depression, I've got generalised anxiety disorder. So these labels that were first invented to make it easy for doctors to speak to one another, to communicate what's wrong with a, with a patient, have become so ubiquitous in society that everyone uses these terms and also defines their own experience through the prism of psychiatric diagnosis. And one of the issues with psychiatric diagnosis, which I think you're making the point, is it decontextualizes things. Mm -hmm. So rather than being depressed because of, or in reaction to, mm -hmm. a whole host of psychological and social circumstances, you, 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 you now have, an, Ill you now have an illness. Yeah. That's right. You, and, and then you own that illness and that then becomes part of you and you wheel it out and show people and then put it back. Right, mm -hmm. and so if it is like diabetes, as, as you are told by doctors sometimes, you now have a lifelong issue, that's right, located inside yourself, perhaps inside your brain, and it does decontextualise it from the life around you. And so I think the people who walk around feeling like they have this lifelong brain illness, it's a sort of a disempowering narrative to have. It stops them looking outwards at what, what could make their lives better or what is wrong in their societies and focuses on in what way are they deficient as a person.